Hey guys, welcome to another Theory of Computation tutorial. Today we'll be looking at My Hill Neurot Theorem example that is table filling method, how to minimize a DFA using table filling method. All right. So this is the DFA that is given to us. Okay. So step one to minimize this DFA is first you draw a table for all pair of states. So over here we have got table for BA, then we have got AC, then BC, then we have got AD and BD, CD. And then we have got EA, EB, EC, ED. Okay. So these are all the pairs that we have covered. So you don't have to make table for pairs like AA, BB, CC, DD, e, e. that is pair with itself. Okay. And similarly, you only need one box over here for each pair. You don't need to have a pair uh, or a box for AB and BA. Okay. That's why we have marked this only half table. Okay. Now, second step is mark all the pairs where P belongs to final state and Q belongs to non-final state. So you have to check for all the pairs. So over here, we have got B, A are both of them. That is A and B, both final and non-final states. No, both of them are non-final states. That is, it is not a pair of state where one belongs to final state and one is a non-final state. No. Okay. Similarly for A, C, as you can see, both of them are non-final state. What about B, C? Both of them are non-final states. What about A, D, A and D? No. Both of them are non-final states. What about B, D, B and D, non-final states? Then we have got C and D. Both of them again, non-final states. So you don't mark it. Okay. What about E and A? E and A. One is final, one is non-final. So you have to mark it. Okay. So let's use blue color here. So E, A. Okay. It's a pair of a final and non-final state. What about E, B? Yes. E and B. One is a final state, one is a non-final state. So you have to mark this one also. All right. What about EC? Yes. One is a final state. One is a non-final state. And what about ED? Yes. One is a final state. One is a non-final state. So you have marked this. Okay. So you have marked all the pairs where P belongs to final state and Q belongs to non-final state. Now, step three, if there are any unmarked pairs, now we have got over here, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have got six unmarked pairs over here, correct? Then you have to check for them such that when you give an input in this unmarked pairs, do you reach a already marked state or not? Okay, so let's try it out. So let's say for B A this pair. Okay, if we give input zero, what happens? If you give input zero in state B, you go to state B itself. In state A, you get input zero, you go to state B. Okay, what about input one? So you give input one in state B, you go to state D. Correct? And you get input one to A, you go to state C. Now, are the outputs that is this bb and dc marked over here so dc it's not marked yet correct all right and bb is also not there only it is not present so you don't have to worry about it now next is pair uh, next pair is ca okay so ca all right so you give input zero in state c you go to state b okay and you get input zero to state a you go to state b so no need to worry about input zero what about input one so in state C, you get input one, you go to state C itself and you get input one in state A, you go to state C. So again, CC, this state does not exist. Don't worry about this state, pair it all. Now what about CB? So let's see here in state C and B. Okay. You get input zero. Where do you go? So in input zero for state C, you go to B and state B, you get input zero, you go to state B. All right. And input one, what happens? Input one in state C, you go to state C itself. All right. And input one in state B, you go to state D. Now is B, B and C, D marked? No, B, B and C, D are not marked over here. All right. Now next one is D, A, state D and A. All right. Yeah. Now when you give input zero over here and input one, so in state D, you get input zero, you go to state B. In state A, you get input zero, you go to state B. All right. And what about input one? In state D, you get input one, you go to state E. Correct. And in state A, you get input one, you go to state C. Now is EC marked anywhere? EC is marked. Yes. So that's why I have to mark this pair now DA. So this DA has to be marked now. Okay. Now, again, you check for the next one that is db d and b all right you get input zero in state d you go to state b oh yeah 
okay you go to state b you get input 0 in state b you go to state b itself and for input 1 you go to state e if you get input 1 in state d you go to yeah you have to write it away yes you get input 1 you go to state e and in state b you get input 1 you go to state d now is this state marked e d is it marked e d yes it is marked so you have to mark state db also now state db is also marked what about state c dc the pair dc let's try state d c all right you get input zero where do you go in state d you go to state b and in state c you get input zero you go to state b correct yeah now what happens you get input one in state d you go to state e and in state c you get input one you go to itself okay now is state ec marked yes state ec as you can see over here is marked that's why you have to mark this pair also dc all right so you have to go through this go through this iteration again that is you have to check again and again until no more mark can be made okay now state ba that is the first one that is remaining unmarked state right state ba you go to state dc on input one is state dc marked now yes now it is marked so you have to mark this one also okay what about state ac that is ca over here you get input one you go to state cc you get input zero you go to state bb both of these states do not exist all right what about this state cb that is this last unmarked pair you get input one you go to state cd is state cd marked now yes it is marked so you have to mark this one also okay so you have to mark c b okay now last one is left that is again you have to check for state ac ac over here you get input 0 and 1 you go to state bb and cc which are not existing okay so this is the final place that is only state pair uh, pair of states a and c are unmarked left all right now the next step is you combine all the unmarked pairs into a single state and then you draw the minimized dfa all right so let's try to do that okay so as we have seen only unmarked pair that is left is state ac okay the rest of them are marked yes now we'll combine state a and c that is these two states you have to combine all right so let's write it down since this is our starting state let's try to draw it starting state we have got state a c you have combined both of them right now if you get input 0 in state a and state c you go to state b correct so you draw it like that you go to state b if you get input 0 and in state a you get input 1 you go to itself and uh, that is c and c you get input 1 you go to itself since we have combined them state a c on getting input 1 it is going to itself all right now what happens in state b as usual there are no changes made over here so over here you get input 0 you go to itself and you get input 1 you go to state d okay and in state d what happens you get input 0 you go to state sorry my bad uh, yeah all right so you get input 0 you go to state b and you get input 1 you go to state since e is the final state for input 1 okay yeah all right now in state e what happens you get input 0 you go to state b and you get input 1 you go to state c but c is combined with a so for input 1 you are going to go to state ac okay so this is how we minimize the dfa using table filling method or my hill neuron method we have minimized this DFA from five states to four states. So that's it for today, guys. If you have any queries, feel free to ask me in the comment section below. Thank you very much.